Warm greetings to you all who are attending the American Public Health Association 2020 annual virtual meeting. My name is Tony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health and a member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force. I want to begin by saying that I am humbled and deeply grateful to have been selected by your president, Lisa Carlson, to receive the APHA's presidential citation for 2020. I extend my appreciation to Lisa and to your executive director, Dr. Georges Benjamin, for this very special honor. I am equally delighted to have this opportunity to speak directly to the thousands of my public health colleagues gathered here today. What you do each day makes life for individuals, families, communities, and our entire nation safer, healthier, and more equitable. Individually and collectively, your contributions are simply extraordinary. Thank you for your dedication to the common good. Thank you for your resilience during this grueling COVID-19 pandemic, and thank you for your courage in upholding the guiding principles of public health that keep our nation strong. As director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases for the past 36 years, I have had the privilege of helping to lead the US government's response to multiple infectious disease outbreaks most notably the emergence of HIV AIDS in the early 1980s, the anthrax attacks and bioterrorism in 2001, SARS in 2002 and 3, the 2009 H1N1 influenza, and Ebola in 2014. The perpetual challenge of emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases has been at the center of my career. Prior to this year, when people would ask what I had not yet seen that worried me most, I would answer the emergence of a novel, deadly, highly contagious respiratory virus. As 2020 began, SARS-CoV-2 emerged into public view, and suddenly my worst nightmare had come true. It checked all the boxes of my concern. Once more, scientists around the world are joined with the larger public health community in a struggle to gain the upper hand over a virus that has tragically killed more than a million people worldwide and is posing the biggest threat to global health in more than a century. Here in the United States, we are at a perilous crossroads in this pandemic as we traverse the fall and winter seasons and the return of seasonal influenza, cooler weather that drives us inside, and upcoming holidays enticing us to gather with family and friends. Troubling surges in cases and hospitalizations have begun across much of the country. Currently, our best prevention tools remain masks, physical distancing, and the other simple public health measures we all know work well if people adhere to them. And I'm thankful to the millions of ordinary Americans who have steadfastly abided by our public health guidance during this time. I can pledge to you that I will always base my recommendations and my counsel on the available scientific evidence. However, COVID fatigue and flat out rejection of the scientific evidence also exist in certain elements of our society and stand as impediments to our success. Fortunately, encouraging progress is being made on the scientific front, including ongoing clinical trials of multiple different treatment modalities. I also am cautiously optimistic that the large-scale trials underway will identify at least one safe and effective COVID-19 vaccine by the end of this year. We must work harder and smarter, however, to overcome vaccine hesitancy 
and to ensure that when safe and effective preventive vaccines become available, that they are distributed equitably. I am profoundly aware how difficult this year has been and how likely it is that many of you may feel mentally and physically exhausted. Now more than ever, however, we need you to dig deep, stay strong, and help us prevail. Know that with perseverance and all of us working together, we will control and ultimately end this terrible pandemic. Thank you.